Tonight, several Middle Tennessee families fighting to be reunited with their children who are trapped half a world away because of international adoption restrictions. New at 10, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is here to explain how you can help. Well, right now there is an online petition that needs 100,000 signatures by tomorrow in order to be submitted to President Obama. Supporters still have a ways to go, but they hope with enough signatures, President Obama will intervene and help them finally bring their kids home. Play that one, the yellow nine. There's never a dull moment in the Blake household. Now it's red. But even with a house full of three energetic kids under 10, Dad, I see the blue. something is still missing. For the last two years, there's been a hole where they belong. Right after the Blakes began the process of adopting five year old Alamasi and four year old Faustin from the Democratic Republic of Congo, they hit a roadblock. Congo came out with a suspension and said that they wanted to review the adoption laws and they were going to put letting kids out on hold. Even though the adoption is official, without an exit letter from the DRC, the boys can't leave the country. As months pass with no changes, frustration grows. I mean, it's to the point where you second guess, is this, is it ever going to happen? Are they ever going to come home? Now the Blakes hope an online petition will put an issue in the spotlight that's caused heartbreak for so many families. That's not something any mother should ever have to say to their kids. Goodbye and who knows when I'll see you or if I'll get to bring you home. They hope with some more support, the moment will finally come when their family is complete. When they get here, it's finally like we're all on the same continent and we can all, you know, say prayers at night together and everybody gets tucked in under one roof and that day will be amazing. Anna! <laughs> Good job. The Blakes join hundreds of other families across the country who are working with the nonprofit group Both Ends Burning to reach out to Secretary of State John Kerry and Senator Bob Corker as well. But they believe President Obama has to get involved to have these regulations changed. We do have a link to their petition on newschannel5.com. Rory. Emily, thanks. The families involved in this fight say the Congolese government has given a variety of reasons for the suspension, including concern for children who are placed in new homes.